Escuela Sun is a multicultural school that empowers children to become change makers in the world. One thing that people notice when they walk in here is how calm and how calming it is. I hear that all the time. And that's a multi-sensory experience. From the scents that they smell, to the music that they hear, to the clutter-free, beautiful spaces that they're occupying, to the rhythm of the day, the projects that they do. Everything is choreographed and created so that they can have a moment in a place where they're present and grounded. That's when they're most able to really learn. Our teachers are selected and actually trained to nurture and show their love to the children. That's integral to our programming. The foods that they eat influence how they feel, not just the content of the food, but where it comes from and how it's presented and how it's shared with their friends and their teachers. When they start to grow herbs in their classroom from seed and then they bring it out to the garden and they tend to it every day. They go and they find those starts that they started in their classroom and they water it every day. But oftentimes they cook their own snacks using either things that they grew in the garden or something that's actually integrated into their curriculum. The connection to nature is really important to the child's experience. They go outside every day, rain or shine. One of the things that we're really proud of, that we love to share with people, is our approach to creating a natural play space. This natural play space is filled with movable parts. They create labyrinths and obstacle courses and climbing structures and pyramids. Anything their wild imaginations will let them create. There are so many benefits to having all these movable parts. One is that it promotes collaboration between the kids. And when you have a big, heavy straw bale, you have to find someone to help you move it. You can't move it by yourself. And they need to agree on where it's going to go. And they have to negotiate with their peers. And sometimes they don't agree and they have to figure out how to compromise. And not to mention creativity and problem solving and gross motor development. So we apply a fully integrated approach to teaching. In our primary school, there's no math class. There's no history class. We're adopting the International Baccalaureate curriculum and we're applying an entirely heuristic, hands-on experiential approach to integration. What that means is that the kids learn complex science in cooking class. They learn math in the garden. They learn social studies in their music class. And all of it is, it takes a lot of preparation um, and work to integrate all of these beforehand for the entire year so that that child's experience becomes relevant. Once you create an environment like that for kids, then you're also nurturing their creativity and their problem solving and all these skills that are absolutely necessary for a good doctor, a good engineer, a good artist. Uh, whatever they choose to be, these skills will serve them well, but they'll also part of that foundation that helps them be more engaged in the world. We're expanding our current program into primary school. We're taking a conventional school, a space that hasn't been updated in decades, and converting it to a natural oasis, an idyllic learning space that promotes learning by doing. A multilingual school with multiple secondary language tracks. This is an incredible opportunity for us to take the work that we've been doing for all these years and expand it into the primary years so that children can have the opportunity to experience this beyond their preschool years, beyond just a daily after-school program.